You know, friends, uh, when we retire, we got many, many things that come through our minds and uh, the wisdom that we have uh, picked up down through the years uh, is still in our minds. I have come up with something that uh, I believe if it was really done, which it probably will never be done, but I think that uh, I had the answer for the so-called caravan and the uh, the people that are trying to get in this country. We know that if they go on the waiting list, uh, one day they will eventually uh, get in this country. Uh, now, there are about 8,000 of those people down there, and they uh, mostly are women and children. You don't see many husbands. Here is my suggestion. If you would take uh, all these cities, Detroit, St. Louis, the bad parts of Atlanta, L.A., Camden, New Jersey, and there are hundreds and hundreds of other small cities in this country that look like a third world country. No one cares, and it just goes on. It's, it's, it's just dope-ridden, and it's just uh, a nest where nobody even wants to live anymore. Now, who owns these properties? If you go on YouTube, you can see uh, uh, thousands of homes that are left boarded up, stores boarded up all over this country especially down in the south, uh, everywhere, everywhere. There are boarded up homes, there are boarded up uh, uh, stores, malls, even some uh, 7-Elevens and uh, even some Walmarts, which shows nobody wants them. Well, if you will look at the people that have built this country and did something with it when they were given a chance, your Italians, your German people, your Japanese people, your Mexican people, uh, and there are many, many more, Czechoslovakian, Polish people, it goes on and on and on, who did everything they could to get to this country, and they made it when they got here. You can't go into none of their neighborhoods and see a home with a two-by-four holding a porch up. You don't see that amongst these people. These people work, take care of their property, and are happy and proud and glad to be in America. As we know, there are some who don't think that way. You could give them heaven and they would complain about it. We know who they are. We're not going to get into that. I'm leaving the uh, religious aspect of it on this talk. I'm going into the real world. Now, uh, I have seen some of these towns and cities and that are dilapidated and no one cares about it anymore. And I have driven to some cities where they can't even afford to have city lights. When you go through it, it's like pitch black. You go through it hoping you can get out alive. This is what America has come to. Now, we know there are places that are not like that. We know that. But it takes money to live in those kind of places that are not like that, too. And everybody don't have a lot of money. Everybody don't have that kind of job. Why not? 
the United States of America, you're going to spend billions and billions and billions of dollars building a wall to keep people out. And you're still going to have to have tons and tons of uh, bodyguards and uh, border guards and whatever. You're still going to need that. Takes money. Well, why not do a humane thing? Those people in the caravan that are dying to come here, send buses into these countries where they came from and pick up their husbands or boyfriends and all have conversations with every one of them, all 8,000 of them. Make the deals with them. We'll let you come to America. Providing you do this, do that, do this, do that. Forget about all that damn red tape bull crap. Okay? You make deals with them kind of people. If they break the deal, they're shipped back. They're shipped back. They know that. And for them to get out and walk, four and five thousand miles to freedom and a better standard of living, why not make some deals with them for the betterment of them and most of all, the betterment of our country. The betterment of our country. If we look at all these cities that I have just named, we know the predominantly uh, names of people, their nationality, who lives in these cities. We know that. But nothing is happening. Nothing. The same old thing just continues. Same old thing. Food stamps, medical attention, and a place to live, that is no answer for a man. It don't give him no, no sense of caring for himself, being proud of what he has done. There's nothing like working and having yourself a bed to lay down on that is yours, where no one can throw you out. Bring the caravan in. Have your high intellectual uh, politicians talk to these people. Tell them what they can do. Tell them what they can't do. And what they can have if they do do. Okay? There's all these cities. Let the... Uh, Government of the United States decide where they would go. Let them go there. Take them there. And have it so that they can pick up building supplies. The federal government will pick up the tab because they're picking up the tab on the wall, on the uh, thousands of bodyguard, border guards, you're paying that toll. Pay for someone to put a window in a place. Pay someone, pay the, the, the cost of bricks, mortar, electricians, plumbers. Imagine how those people would be so proud to have something of their own and help America. Help America. Let them come on in. These, these cities that I name, they need people. But they need people who care. They need people who will do something. They need people that will be proud of getting something instead of pushing it aside and complaining all the time. You're sick of these people. 
You sick of these people. Complaining, complaining, complaining. Never doing nothing. Never doing nothing. Always blaming someone else. Always blaming someone else. Eh? It's a way of life. But what I'm suggesting will never get done. I know that. But just an idea that ran through my old head that makes sense. That makes sense. Wheel and deal with these people. You do it and you're not getting nowhere. Well, where are you getting? Look at Camden. I wouldn't go down in the street of Camden unless I had a tank, 25 Marines, 16 paratroopers, 16 uh, 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 state troopers or whatever before I would walk down the street in Camden, New Jersey. Yeah. So if there's any politicians uh, fortunate enough to be watching this video, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And there are many, many things that could make this a better country. You don't need religion to make it a better country. You need people who have faith making a better country. Faith in their fellow man and being kind and helping thy neighbor. That is what it's all about. See? So think about what I just said. The caravan and the onslaught of people coming over the border could all be ended with compassion, humane compassion, talking, setting up things, building together instead of fighting one another. That's all you're going to see. That's all you are seeing. As it goes on, nothing changes, stays the same. See? In all those cities, would love to have someone to come in and fix it up, keep it going. Now, there are a lot of places in our country where uh, minority people have bought in stores in these countries, but they're paying havoc to even have a store with the clientele they have to work with. And I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about. Things could be great in this country if people would get off of their horses and start looking at things a little different. You don't have to be a Democrat or a Republican. All you have to do is be a human being. Be a human being. And care for your fellow man. Not lip service, but care for your fellow man. See? You have seen people with signs on, we'll work for food, we'll work for this, we'll work for that. Well, these people are sending you a message. There are people like that. Some of them are truthful. Some of them are flimflams. We know that too. But there are a lot of politicians and preachers that are also flimflams and are worse than the ones that are out there begging for their food. They're worse than them. We know who they are. Those who are in the system that are in a position to maneuver and connive and get the goodies for their families and themselves, everything's okay as long as 
they're skimming off the top, skimming off the bottom, skimming off the middle, and every damn other place they can get their greedy fingers on. Try those people in the caravan for a change. Yeah. You don't have to make it an onslaught. Just a small segment of society to see how it works out. You start with one little city and see how it works out. It might work. It might work. So friends, I'm going to close this little uh, video. It's a little different than I usually do. Uh, usually I'm on the cult tower, but I'm going to let them sleep tonight and get back to reality. Uh, we have other lives to live besides the cult tower. They're not the only news in the world. There's other news in the world besides them. See? They're not the only crooks in the world. There's other crooks too we can talk about. Okay. Thank you, friends. Good night. Thank you.